Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today on this episode of Android 101, we are once again getting back to basics on how to flash a ROM. This time we're going to be using the Galaxy S4 and Clockwork Mod Recovery. So in the last video we used uh, Team Win Recovery Project. Today we're using Clockwork Mod Recovery. But once again, just the basics of how to flash a ROM using that recovery. Now last time I showed you how to get into the recovery by using the multiple button combo trick. This time I'm going to show you how to get into it. Say you're on a custom ROM like this one and you want to get into recovery. All you have to do is hold down the power button to bring up your power menu and you have some options. One of them is restart. If you click on that, generally on a custom ROM you'll have these options and recovery will be one of them. So you want to highlight that and then click yes and click OK. The phone will shut off and relaunch into the recovery. Now, here we are. Uh, let me bring it down a little bit. This is Clockwork Mod Recovery, and there's different uh, versions of this, but they all have the same general options. What we want to do, first thing you always do is wipe your uh, memory and cache and all that. Now, to navigate to Clockwork Mod, you want to use the volume up and the volume down. Then, to select something, you hit the power button. First thing we want to do is wipe our data. Choose it, then click uh, the power button. <clears throat> then you have a bunch of no's and the one down there at the bottom is a yes. Get on that and click it. It's going to do its thing and it's done. Now we want to wipe cache. Once again, click on the yes. Oh, went past it. There we go. Now we want to wipe our Dalvik cache. And that is not on this screen. We have to go into advanced. And it's the second one down there, Dalvik cache. And once again, yes. Now down at the bottom is go back you can do that or you can just hit your back button down at the bottom here and I'll take you back to that screen now we're ready to flash uh, we could go through that process once or twice more wiping all the the caches and the memory and everything now we want to install dot zip from SD card and it asks us which where we want to uh, in install from the zip file is once again, you can put it on the external card, your memory card, or you can put it on the internal memory. If you're unsure about it, you should always just put it in your internal memory. Put it on the root of the SD card. Now, because this is the S4 and it's running Android 4.2.2, we have an extra file here that we have to go into. If you're on 4.1, 4.1.2, 4.0, uh, ice cream sandwich, the early jelly bean, then you won't have this step here. When you click on install zip from internal SD card, it will take you right into your internal. Uh, but 4.2.2 has this extra folder here. It's in the zero folder. And here is all the files that are on my internal SD card. Once again, zips are always at the bottom. And instead of having to scroll through all these to go down, if you just push up, it'll pop you right down at the bottom. And I have two on here right now, but I want to install this one here. 
click on it and once again it asks us to make sure we want to so you say yes and it starts the flashing process this one might have an aroma I can't remember if it does or not I don't believe it does because it would have triggered already so we just wait here for this process to be complete and that is it uh, it maybe took two minutes and we're back to this screen here you can click on the go back or you can just hit your back button now if you want to wipe your cache again you can do that just to make sure some people like to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and the very top option is reboot system and that's it it's going to reboot we get our logo here and then we have the boot animation got some stuff on the screen and there it is this is the Omega ROM I'm gonna do a review for the Galaxy S4 version of this ROM very soon but that's it guys that is how to flash a ROM using clockwork mod recovery the very bare bones version if you have any questions, as always, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. I'll see you next time.